I'm gonna teach you about top-down analysis. Some people like to call it time frame analysis. And honestly, after trading for six years, I can tell you this is probably the most important skill that you're gonna to need to learn to become a profitable trader. It's essentially being able to analyze charts from multiple time frames and use that to your advantage. There's three essential time frames that you're gonna to wanna to look at when it comes to trading. And the way that I trade is I look at all of the time frames when I'm trading, whether I'm scalping, whether I'm swing trading, really important that you wanna look at all time frames. But you also need to recognize and understand how these time frames work and how to use them in your trading. So let's dive into it. The first one is going to be the direction time frame. And this is typically based off the monthly, the weekly, and the daily chart. Looking at candlestick charts, sticking to the monthly, weekly, and daily is going to help you find your direction in your trade. A very obvious example is going to be if price is uptrending in the weekly or the monthly time frame, we don't necessarily want to be looking for shorts, right? We only want to be looking to long in an uptrend. So if we're able to identify trend using the monthly, weekly, weekly and daily charts, then we can identify what's really going on and which side of the market we want to be trading. Now, how do we actually determine what the direction is going to be? Sometimes the monthly and the weekly and the daily can be a little tricky, right? We can be in phases of consolidation where it's just back and forth. It's really tough to determine what's actually going on. What you want to do is identify pivot points. These are going to be highs and lows within the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame that you can use for your trading. And all you need to do is figure out price making higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs. And if price is not doing any of those things where it's kind of in the middle or going up down maybe like a diamond formation or a triangle and a wedge formation typically you just want to stay away from those type of trades price is going to get very consolidated very choppy you really don't want to be trading within a trend so being able to look at the higher time frame and understand direction is right off the back going to give you an immediate edge when it comes to understanding how you should place your trades the next time frame that i want to look at is what i call the behavior time frame and this basically tells you how price is acting and what it really wants to do next and this is the most important because it, it ranges from a lot of different time frames, right? This will typically go from the 30 minute or the one hour up to the four hour time frame. And using this is crucial when it comes to understanding your strategy and how you want to get in and out of your trade. So it really depends on what strategy you use. So for me, I look at supply and demand, balance theory, market structure as well. So a lot of what I do is I'm looking at the one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour chart. And I'm zooming in and figuring out, okay, is price breaking structure? Are there demand zones being formed? Are these demand zones being able to take Take out a supply zone who is really in control of these time frames that's what you want to look at when it comes to trading and it's really going to tell you identify where you want to be able to get in where you want to be able to get out and where you want to stay away from too It'll help you identify if price is in a choppy market if price is wedging or range bound maybe you want to stay away and using these different time frames is really going to tell you what the market is looking like and how it's going to want to act over the next few days weeks hours any time frame that you're looking at the last time frame that you're going to want to look at is what i call the entry time frame now this can range from depending on your strategy could be the one minute all the way up to the 15 or 30 minute now for me i personally love looking at the one minute and the five minute chart that works perfectly with how i trade but you got to figure out what works with you i know a lot of people that look at the 30 second chart or even the 15 second chart and that's just how they trade but using these time frames is really important when it comes to identifying an entry so it's a quick example let's say we have a demand zone that we're looking to buy on a four hour chart now sometimes these zones can be massive and could be like you know 30 points long if we're looking at an es futures chart and if I don't want to trade or if I don't want to risk 30 points on an ES futures chart then I wouldn't be able to trade this zone unless I was looking at a smaller time frame so what you want to do is look at the one minute the five minute the 15 and use these smaller time frames to actually figure out where you want to enter and exit as opposed to just looking at a huge four hour zone you can zoom in make a few other confirmations or confluences for what your actual entry is going to be and then that will give you a much better and smaller risk so you can set yourself up for a much better trade now, like I said, looking at all the time frames is important, but what's even more important is that you actually adapt it to your trading style. Just because I said I like the one minute and the five minute doesn't mean that you should be using that for your style of trading. Now, if you're a swing trader and you like taking multiple weeks of trades where you get in now and then you get out three, four weeks out from now, you don't really need to look at the one minute or the five minute for an entry, right? It may make more sense for you to look at the one hour or the 30 minute for an entry. It's important that you really figure out what your strategy is and what kind of time frame you like to trade off of right maybe some of your trades only take a few minutes maybe some of your trades take a few months if that's really the case you want to be able to go higher time frames and identify the much overall bigger trend because do 
doing that is going to give you a better advantage for your trading specifically. Now, with that being said, you also want to make sure that you are looking at all the time frames. Even when I trade on the one minute or the five minute chart and I'm looking to scalp, I am still looking at the daily and the weekly chart. I'm doing that because really I want to have a good sense of what's going on, right? If price is in a weekly supply zone, I don't want to be looking to long even on a one minute or a five minute chart because I already know that I'm putting myself in a position to lose. I'm giving myself a disadvantage in the market because if price is that supply, there's a good chance that we're going to end up moving lower. It's really important that you're able to look at all of the different time frames. That way you get a good sense of where price is relative to its current time frame. And you can use that to give your advantage of when to trade and when not to trade. Now, something that comes up a lot is that you may see what we call time frame discontinuation. And that can basically mean that the time frames are not aligning. Okay? You may have maybe on the four hour or the daily chart prices in an uptrend. But then on the one hour chart, or the two hour chart price in a downtrend. But then the five minute, the 15 price is back in an uptrend. It can get very confusing and complicated when you're looking at multiple time frames. What I can tell you as a trader for six years is that the biggest edge in your trading is going to be when everything is aligned. When everything is in an uptrend, when you're able to really clearly identify that price is now starting to turn in its favor with the overall higher time frame trend, that's going to give you the biggest advantage in your trading. Another key point that you want to make sure you write down and understand is that the higher time frame always wins no matter what going back to the example of that supply zone if price is in supply no matter what i don't want to be looking to buy it doesn't matter if it's on a daily or a four hour or a two hour or a 30 minute if price is in a weekly supply zone i am only looking to look for shorts now that may mean that i missed some opportunities and that may mean that i have to be more patient in my trading but that's what trading is it's all about being patient and waiting for your a plus setups when everything aligns together doing that is going to make sure that you are the most profitable trader and you have the highest likelihood of success now, when it comes to time frame analysis, it's important, especially with the entry time frames, that you're looking at confirmation. And what I mean by that is if price is coming down to a one hour demand zone and I'm looking to buy off the five minute chart, you don't want to simply buy right as price hits demand. You want to wait for some type of structure break or some type of pullback or some other indicator that you can use in your trading to give you that confirmation, give you that extra edge. What I love to do is use multi time frame analysis with supply and demand. Basically, what that means is that I look at multiple time frames of demand in inside higher time frame demand zone. So if I have a daily demand zone, I will look for a one hour demand zone inside of that and then trade based off that. And doing this, you're basically just layering demand zones on top of each other. And that's gonna give you a massive edge in your trading because you have multiple time frames all coming along together. When you see that, when you have more confluences come together, that's gonna give you the biggest edge in your trading. It's also really important that you're using this time frame analysis with your exact entries and exits. For example, if I'm long out of a daily demand zone, and my goal is to hit a certain level, and I know that there's gonna be a supply zone in the way on the two hour chart, you wanna be able to identify that because price could definitely hit that two hour zone and then pull back or maybe even go lower. And so you wanna make sure that you're able to take your profits, set your stops in the right places that line up with all your time frames. And of course, you wanna make sure that your risk management is in place while doing this. Otherwise, none of that even matters. So it's important that you're looking at all these different time frames in combination with each other so you know exactly where price can reverse at each moment of time. This top down analysis approach is very common around a lot of traders. I use it. I know that for a fact, if you use it, it's going to help you become a profitable trader a lot quicker. So it's really important that you use the steps in this video and actually use it with your trading or else you're not going to really make anything from it. Always look at all your different time frames, understand which supply and demand zones or which time frames you want to look at that make sense for you and your strategy. And you also want to make sure that you're using confirmations with these time frames as well. Remember, you're always just one trade away from success. So any edge that you have in your training, you want to be able to use to your advantage. Now, if you want to learn more about time frame analysis and how I use it in my trading, I actually made a free training down below. I'll leave it in the link of the description. You can check that out. And what it's going to do is show you exactly how to become profitable using my exact reface system that I've been using for the past two years as a full time trader. So go ahead and check it out. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.